I have been excited for this shader for nine weeks now. This is my this was my top thing from the season. I saw it on day one. I was like, I need this shader. So the only thing I've seen it on is armor from previews. I have never seen it on any of these. Never seen it on ghost shells. I've never seen it on equipment. So we're gonna go right now. First impressions. Here we go. Please, Bungie. Please don't be stupid like you are. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. I just, like, oh. Well. Great shader, Bundy. Amazing shader. Well, it ruined the one thing I was excited for. So you guys saw my first impressions there. Uh, I won't lie, I'm a little disappointed. But to me, it does seem like a more cloth-oriented shader, which you'll see with this. This is, in my opinion, the best cape in the game now. With this shader, this is, in my opinion, the best. This is It's so cool. But... You know, it would have been cooler if we could put that effect on this instead of having this gross, kind of burnished dreams looking shader. I don't even think I have that shader crafted. Yeah, I don't. But it definitely does seem like a cloth oriented shader. I just, I don't know what it is with Bungie and their obsession with making shaders not work like they're supposed to. Like, why? I don't understand it. But I gotta stop stop making fun of everything Bungie does wrong and start making fun of or start congratulating them on the stuff they get right. It's a good shader. It really is. It's just not as good as it could have been. Like why? Why? Why does it do this? Bungie needs to reevaluate their shaders because they just don't do stuff right sometimes. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It definitely is a more cloth oriented shader so I don't think it's going to be very good on Titan I already looked it's really not good on Titan it definitely does seem like a warlock oriented shader because warlocks have so much cloth sometimes it works on hunter like for example I think it looks pretty cool on the Gemini jesters and as you saw on the trials cape but in my opinion it's mainly a weapon gun I think that looks really really cool I think it looks pretty good on the Retro Futurist. This looks kind of ugly, but the animation's pretty cool. So It definitely, to me, seems like a um, weapon-oriented exotic. Or exotic, what am I saying? Shader. That looks really, really cool. I just hate the look of this. I love this look. Um, on some weapons, it looks really weird. I don't like the look of that at all. And the biggest disappointment, in my opinion, it barely works on equipment. It actually doesn't work on equipment. It's so it's really frustrating. I just Bungie doesn't make any sense to me sometimes. But if you're just looking for a nice shader to throw on really any gun, then here's your shader, because it's stunning. There's a few unique things about the shader which I think are pretty cool. First, it's the only other shader in the game besides Burnished Dreams that turns this helmet gray. It's this ornament, the stag ornament, the Capriolan axe. None of the other ones keep it gray, like Burnished Dreams and Seven Sisters do. I think I think this ornament looks really cool if it's all gray. I think it looks awesome actually. Unfortunately, the stag is not amazing, so it's kind of a waste. Like I said, it doesn't really work that well on equipment. It actually looks pretty decent on that. It's just it's just a, such a weird shader. It doesn't function properly. I don't understand Bungie's thought process sometimes. They're so weird. That actually, the Saigira one looked pretty cool. But this is what I wanted to show.
Yeah. That looks okay. Actually, that looks really cool, but... That's just on another level. I never thought I'd actually use the Season of the Worthy ornaments, but it seems like I actually am. I think those boots are pretty nice. Obviously, that's the base shader. And I, f I thought these were going to be good, but they weren't, so... It's a very nice shader. It's easily in the top five for me. It's just they could have it could have been top one if Bungie didn't be weird with it like they do with every shader that they ever release in this game. But yeah, if you have the worthy ornaments, this is definitely going to be a shader to buy. If you have a palindrome, this is definitely going to be a shader to buy. If you like animated shaders, then this is definitely a shader to buy because it looks really really good. Like it looks it looks really really good. But yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys.